Hi guys, Mr. Pollock Biology here again. Sorry, this is a re-uploaded video with audio, hopefully. Um, this is Unit 2. No, it's not. It's Question 2 from Unit 4 of Biology for um, 2014, the June paper. Um, here's a nice question on the nitrogen cycle. So, uh, we say nitrates and phosphates are two nutrients that are brought up by this process called upwelling. Um, something in the question about remains of dead organisms, which should be instantly triggering... Um, sort of decay questions, or decay answers in your head. Um, but basically, the first question says, give a biological molecule that contains nitrogen and phosphorus. Nitrogen, nice and easy, amino acids from unit one. There are other things that you could say, like polypeptides or whatever. Keep it straightforward, say amino acids, because we learned about that in unit one. If you're not sure about it, check out my video. Um, phosphorus, the one that springs to mind here, instantly is nucleic acids, like DNA. But you could also say something like, you know, phospholipids, which are absolutely essential in making the phospholipid bilayer um, that will make up the cell membrane. If you need some revision on that, again, check out my video just above right here. Second question, describe the role of microorganisms in producing nitrates from the remains of dead organisms. Nice, easy, this should be your bread and butter nitrogen cycle question. You should be able to reel this off in your sleep. You can do it in two really short bullet points to get all three marks, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, first mark, saprobiotes or saprobiotic, saprobiotic bacteria. They're going to break down the dead tissue. Break down dead tissue. Um, and they're going to form ammonia or ammonium, whichever one you want to go for. Nice and straightforward. Um, and then your second mark, you can second bullet point, you can get two marks in. And you can say that nitrifying bacteria, that's one mark. So nitrifying bacteria convert bacteria, sorry, convert ammonia and they convert it first to nitrates, sorry, first to nitrites, and then to nitrates. And this process, for extra mark justification, this is nitrification. Nice and easy. That's about as nice as it gets for the nitrogen cycle, so uh, make sure you learn your answers here. So the marks are for saying, these guys to ammonia, these guys, these guys, and these guys. Nice and straightforward. So, 2B. Uh, upwelling often results in high primary productivity in coastal waters. Explain why most some of the most productive fishing areas are often found in coastal waters. Well, if there's more nutrients, then plants or producers are going to be able to have more resources for growth. So we can say uh, more nutrients more nutrients for producers or plants. I'm going to go for producers to use for growth. And if there's more plants, if there's more producers, there's more food for the organisms at the higher trophic levels, such as fish. Nice. More food for fish. And that is going to get you your two marks. Not a bad question, question two. Probably one of the nicer nitrogen cycle ones. And that gives us seven out of seven. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope that's been useful. Please stay tuned for the rest of the questions from June 2014's Bile for Exam paper. Please like, comment and subscribe.